My goodness! Explosions again! Just when you thought it was safe to go back into the jungle! Boom! Not safe. Look, sir! It's a mole! And he's stealing parts of the plane! Well, of course he is, Morris. What else do you expect them all to do? They have very boring lives. But don't we need those parts for the plane to actually fly us back to New York? Hmm, that is a good point. And I have a good idea. You, mailman, are you going to be the one to stop those moles from stealing our parts? Uh, it's mailman. All right, mailman. Here we go. Just use your head bash move to knock those moles into next week before they escape with the parts. No effect! No effect! No This batch of moles are not going to respond to your head bash. Use your spin attack move to try to bump them off. Now's the time when it gets really wacky. On some moles you can use only the spin attack, while on others you can only use the head bash. Let the madness begin! Thank goodness you're here. I feel a favor coming on. It's this luggage. King Julian has a tendency to overpack. Stuff he doesn't even need, like hay. Who packs hay? And now I can't even get these suitcases closed. Lucky for you, I know just how to deal with it. I've got a butt bounce move that will shut those things, but good. Why, thank you very much, Miss Gloria. Your butt has saved my precious hay. Now I still need to load my suitcases onto the plane. Luckily, I have found the perfect man for the job. He means me, Mort. Why, yes, it is Marty. Mort, I am not even sure why you are still standing there. Mr. Marty, why don't you use that big sturdy kick of yours to start loading the luggage? Round one!
Round two. It's a little different. See? Round three! Oh, you better watch out for round three. Nobody notices those dents and hoof marks all over their suitcases. Nice going, Marty. I'm heading topside now. Come on up when you're ready. Okay, mailman. I now would like you to use your amazing climbing ability. I don't have any amazing climbing abilities, and the name is Melman, not Mailman. I'm pretty sure it's Mailman. The one that can do all of the climbing flippy business. I think you're talking about me. Well, whoever I'm talking about, please get up to those platforms and help secure those ropes. Alex, just tie the ropes together quickly so I'm not stuck down here with a guy who keeps trying to buy stamps off me. Standing around like this isn't going to do either of us any good. Cats need to stretch. These shiny rivets will help you find it.
I think you were. See, the problem here is that you have tied your own hands. Rope, not hands. Right. These ropes were tied wrong. Try tying them right and we'll be in business. On the bright side, at least you managed to tie something together. Why don't you give it another shot? See, the problem here is that you have tied your own hands. Rope, not hands. Try again. That skills with a Z. You know, on the end, right? That is it, Mr. Alex. And not to be proud of. But there are more nuts in need of your handiwork. Go find them. Fancy meeting you here. I was just telling this rope that you're going to tie it into a big, fat, incredible knot. The rope didn't respond with excitement, but do it anyway. Who's the cat? Uh-huh, that's right. Ah, yes. Excellent nutting. Now all of the ropes are secure. It is a pity your friend Mailman is not here to see your major accomplishment. Where did he go? Mailman will never have a smooth takeoff without a smooth runway. And will never have a smooth runway with those rivets sticking out. 
We need you to pound them down. Uh, I'm still a little dizzy and nauseous from the mole experience. Well, this ought to fix you right up then. All you need to do is use your head, or use your head, or use your head. Why do you keep repeating that? It's called a hint, Einstein. You need to use your head bash ability. Press the special button near a rivet, and you'll see what I mean. to try this at home. Well, unless you're a giraffe with a head bash. Thank goodness you are here. I cannot tell you how important it is that we test out the aiming system on this slingshot. That important, huh? I said I cannot tell you how important it is. I wish your giant freaks would listen. Anyway, before we launch the plane, we need to make sure our aiming system works, and to do that, you need to shoot Mort from this slingshot. Me? There is no one else I trust to be flung through the air at such high and dangerous speed. Satisfying indeed. I could watch that over and over and over and playtime is over, pal. We gotta get these vines in locked position. We are ready to launch the plane. Well, I suppose there are only so many times we can shoot Mort out of a tree before it loses its meaning. But how will you get these vines stretched all the way back? I can help you out with that, provided you have some peppers. We do! I'll have my most steady throwing subject toss them. But I warn you, he's not so steady.
Good work, troops. With that vine in position, we're prepared for launch. Let's blow this popsicle stand! I suppose you would like to know what happened next on my adventure. How greedy you are! I know you are loving it! Well, so far my plan was working perfectly. Mr. Alex and the other freaks were on board, while Maurice and I and some friends were enjoying the kingly first class accommodations in the rear of the aircraft. But then, the unexpected happened. I am sure that Mort had something to do with it. Imagine our surprise! Well, their surprise anyway. I thought it was one of the thrills of my lifetime. But alas, the fun could not last. And soon, we were touching down ever so gently. It was time for one more great adventure! Yeah! <laughs>